Asuka is a super rare rarity light cruiser from the Senran Kagura faction, and is only available from the Senran Kagura event construction banner during the Ninja Scrolls Azure Flash collaboration event, at a construction timer of 2 hours and 30 minutes. Asuka's ninja heritage comes from her maternal grandfather, Hanzo. Though her mother was originally a ninja, her father, who dreamed of being a successful lawyer, fell in love with Asuka's mother. Hanzo didn't approve of this relationship and fought constantly with Asuka's mother. Asuka's father was so deeply in love with Asuka's mother that he was willing to give up on being a lawyer just to be with her, which moved Hanzo emotionally and allowed the two to be married. Hanzo and Asuka's father opened a sushi shop together. While growing up, Asuka often got into fights with whoever she could, later enrolling in the Hanzo National Academy to follow in her grandfather's footsteps. In her character art, Asuka wears a white and blue sailor school uniform, with a white double-breasted top with blue buttons, a yellow neckerchief and rolled up sleeves, a striped bikini underneath, a long red flowing scarf around her neck, long white ribbon tying up her hair, pleated white and blue skirt, white executive socks, and chestnut brown loafers. Her rigging consists of multiple futuristic parts. The bulk of the rigging appears to be attached to her lower back slash waist, with the design being mirrored on both sides. Both sides have white, blue, black, and yellow shields around Asuka, with three Japanese scrolls and kunai attached to them. Behind her is a large ring, on her upper right thigh are the same type of rigging on her waist, and below her is a large stone frog that is expelling a lot of steam. She also holds two either katanas or wakazashis in both of her hands. Her outfit for the event is titled Blue Oceans, and is available for the price of just 900 gems or for rental, coming with a unique background and different music. In the outfit, Asuka wears a pair of orange-tinted sunglasses, the same white hair ribbon, her swords on her back, and a golden bikini. She sits at a seaside beach shack or restaurant, having just come out the water. To her right is a metal bucket with what I believe are some sort of ice treats, a yellow inner tube, and a black, white, and yellow banner. To her left is a bench, the stand itself, another metal bucket, two lights, a roof, and some prom fronds. In her voice lines, voiced by Hitomi Harada, who also voices Melanie Malia in Bleach, Karamine in High School DD, and Airi Totoki in Idol Master, Asuka is always giving it her all and thinking of food. ここ それは助かります。ああ、なんかお腹空いたな。at level 125 with max affinity and enhancements, Asuka has 3734 HP, 181 firepower, 383 AA, 195 reload, 111 evasion, light armor, 32 speed, 160 accuracy, 90 luck, and consumes 11 oil. Asuka has two skills, with one of the skills being upgraded when she has her unique augment module, Twin Blades Two-Sided Winding Flash, equipped. 
Her skills focus on buffing herself the more Senran Kagura characters there are in the same fleet as her, and focusing on one enemy. Asuka's first skill, Twin Blades Follow-Up Slash, at level 10, at the start of battle, for every Senran Kagura faction ship in the same fleet as Asuka, she gets plus 15% crit damage to a max of 3 stacks, or plus 45% crit damage. Every 12 seconds, all Senran Kagura ships will deal 10% more damage to the enemy with the lowest HP, and Asuka fires a special barrage that scales on firepower and torpedo. If there's only one enemy afloat when the effect is procced, the barrage will always crit. If the barrage defeats an enemy, her second skill's barrage is fired, with a 10 second cooldown between procs of this. Please note that I assume that Asuka herself counts towards the Senran Kagura character count, and that the second skill's barrage being fired from her first skill is independent of the barrage from her second skill. Her second skill, Twin Blade Combo Strike, is upgraded to Twin Blades Combo Strike Plus. When she has her unique augment module, Twin Blades Two-Sided Winding Flash, equipped. At level 10, Asuka gets plus 15% more firepower and torpedo at the start of battle. If there's another Senran Kagura ship in the same fleet, she also gets plus 15% evasion. When Asuka's HP falls below 30% due to damage taken, she gets plus 10% evasion and uses her secret ninja art, Hanzo-style Full Bloom Special Barrage, which heals 15% of the damage dealt by the barrage. The damage scales off of Firepower and Torpedo and can only be triggered once per battle. If there's one enemy afloat, the barrage will always crit. If the barrage kills, three of her first skills barrages are launched. The recommended equipment for Asuka is the prototype Quad 152mm main gun mount for the light cruiser gun with the highest DPS, the quintuple magnetic torpedoes for the best homing torpedoes, the twin 57mm L60 Bofors for the best general use AA gun, the repair toolkit for a boost to survivability and passive healing, the high perf steering gear for a buff to evasion and survivability, and her unique augment module, the Twin Blades Two-Sided Winding Flash, which is obtained from achieving 100% completion on stage T5 Battle Ninja Armor, and, when in battle, gives Asuka plus 9 luck and reduces her damage taken by minus 10%. The event also comes with three unique auxiliary equipment pieces, all of which are available from the event shop for 2,000 castle tickets, which is the event currency. First, there's the Shinobi Medal. When fully enhanced, it gives the ship who has it equipped plus 44 AA, plus 36 accuracy, and plus 30% damage boost. It also changes the background battle music when equipped. Second, there's the Shinobi Attire. When fully enhanced, it gives the ship who has it equipped plus 640 HP and plus 3% damage boost. The ship who has this equipped is considered both their original faction, such as the Eagle Union, while also being considered as a Senran Kagura faction ship. This is useful for Senran Kagura ships such as Asuka, who rely on a certain number of Senran Kagura ships to be in the same fleet as her to gain certain buffs. Third and finally, there's the Ninjutsu Scroll. When fully enhanced, it gives the ship who has it equipped plus 29 accuracy, plus 20 firepower, and a plus 3% damage boost. When it is equipped by a Senran Kagura ship, 30 seconds after the battle starts, the lead vanguard, that's the tank ship, fires a special barrage, which scales off of the ship's firepower stat. If it's equipped by a submarine, the barrage is fired immediately when they enter the battle. The Ninjitsu scroll is good to equip, in my opinion, on either Asuka or Homura. Asuka is, at least in my opinion, based on the skills that she has, meant to be in a boss fleet. She boasts decent stats, a main gun mount and torpedo preload plus one, decent efficiencies with a bias towards torpedoes, and some interesting skills. Like most collab characters, her skills rely on having other collab characters of the same collab in the same fleet as her to get the most out of her skills. 
Her first skill gives an overall bonus of plus 45% crit damage if there are 2-3 to three other Senran Kagura ships in the same fleet as her, while also dealing 10% more damage to enemies with the lowest HP. Her second skill, on the other hand, if you have her unique augment module equipped, gives an overall plus 15% firepower, torpedo, and evasion buff. So, it's well worth to have at least two other Senran Kagura ships in the same fleet. You could just have one other, while a standard ship has the Shinobi attire equipped to get the same effect. The notion of Asuka being specialized against bosses comes from the later parts of her skill descriptions. That being, if there's only one enemy afloat when the barrage is progged, it will always crit. Typically, after you defeat the mass-produced ships, the boss will be on their own for a while, allowing for Asuka to always crit with the plus 45% crit damage. Since the mass-produced ships that the bosses usually spawn go down quickly as well, you could also theoretically have her barrages fire again at the boss due to Asuka's first skill proccing her second skill's barrage independent of the second skill, and her second skill doing the same with her first skill, if you have her unique augment module equipped. Except it gets fired three times. You could also get another barrage out of the ninjutsu scroll if you have it equipped. The thing is, despite how good she is, she relies on two to three other Senran Kugura ships in her fleet, or one to two others if you have one equipped with the shinobi attire, and the special barrage she gets in her second attack, only gets procced when she's below 30% HP. And unless you're ramming her into every ship possible, or just under-leveled severely for the stage you're on, you're not going to be getting down to 30% HP that much. Also, unless you have Asuka absolutely pumping out damage, 15% damage healed back to Asuka isn't going to heal that much. Overall, Asuka seems like a pretty good to great addition to a boss fleet, even into the later levels. But you need to be weary about having other Senran Kagura ships in the same fleet as Asuka, or else you won't be getting the full benefits out of her. Thank you for watching. Please follow my Twitter for updates, and please check out my other videos covering the Azure Lane and Senran Kagura collaboration event.